Hello there. In today's video on this channel, I will not give you a tutorial, but I will answer some questions that some of you guys have asked me. Um, and because they are kind of repeating themselves, then I will I will try to give you an answer. So the first one is uh, why I created that channel and what's its purpose. Uh, the second one will be how to contact me. Uh, many people ask me that uh, and as well um, I will point out something about messages so I hope that you will like the, the video so why I created that channel uh, and what's its purpose well uh, I was fixing the car one day and uh, a friend of mine came and asked me why don't I shoot the video and help other um, so like that they know how cars are fixed and stuff like that and um, I was thinking, yeah, why not? Uh, then at the same time, I've noticed that more and more of those cars end up in a junkyard now. Why? Because, uh, because people don't know how to fix them. And also because a uh, workshop really take advantage. And because they don't know how to fix them, uh, they tend to charge very high prices. And people think, well, it's an old car, so junkyard. Uh, and it's a shame because those cars, if maintained, they will last you a lifetime. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, that was the, the purpose. Huh? And that's, that's why I've, I've made that channel. And I'm glad to see that my video actually uh, help a lot of people uh, so like that they can fix their cars and uh, I receive a lot of uh, uh, feedback huh? um, that people actually the, the, the video are very useful and to me well that's great I, I feel very happy about that to be honest so that's that's why I created it huh? um, at the same time I will tell you um, uh, something that has happened not so long ago uh, about a car that you have seen on the videos, huh? it's a blue Mercedes, um, a 300D automatic, huh? you, you must have seen it, and I um, actually bought it for a friend of mine, and she was driving the car, um, then suddenly she forgot to put diesel and the car poof, poof, stopped, huh? so it's a stupid, stupid thing, but uh, that's what happened, so anyway she called um, the towing company, towing company brought the car to a workshop, and then uh, she called me, and uh, I said, but why you brought the car to a workshop, do you know that they will they will take all your money, you, you know that, no? She said, no, but I didn't want to disturb you, and uh, I said, well, come on, man. Um, <laughs> well, anyway, I said, you, you'll see, it's your, it's your money, you, you will see what will happen, but uh, it will cost you a lot of money. Anyway, um, first, just to look at the car, to diagnose what is the problem, and they diagnose it wrong at the same time, uh, 111 euro to pay, for what? Uh, supposedly to change the, uh, how do you call it, the, ah, in English, sorry, I can't find my words, uh, injection pump, okay, so a thousand euro more or less, plus labor, plus tax, more or less two thousand euro to fix the car, and I was like, what, really, uh, so she paid 111 euro, plus, now, and it's not even written, huh? Uh, so 2,000 euro more or less so anyway uh, I told her take the car out of the workshop and I will have a look at it anyway uh, I went there with a friend uh, we had a look at the car put some diesel in pumped it uh, and the car started right away uh, so <laughs> what what did this cost it uh, nothing zero okay but you see if you go to a, a bad workshop uh, that's what happened they they will they will basically take everything that you have and that's a shame really a really a shame uh, but you know people now that have got a workshop they they don't even know to work on cars what they do they just plug a computer computer tell them change the shock absorbers or change change this or change that they change it and that's it but now if you bring one of those cars to a workshop and tell them well there's a noise in the car mm, when i drive it they they won't know where to look to be honest they they are not the same mechanics that we used to have unfortunately uh, that's just that's just the way it is so anyway that's one of the reasons as i said why i've created that channel and i hope this helped a lot of you okay 
Now, uh, a lot of people ask me as well how to contact me. Um, because people want to have my telephone number, my email, my address, etc. Um, okay, so first, when I created that channel, uh, obviously I didn't expect uh, this to climb like that uh, and I had details on the internet that I didn't even know was there um, so people start looking for me uh, they found my telephone number stuff like that and uh, they started contacting me which I first thought okay that, that's nice uh, until people started calling me in the middle of the night uh, like at 3 o'clock in the morning uh, oh I've got a problem with the back of my car what's happening and I was thinking, really? Three o'clock in the morning? Uh, so I thought that was a bit out of order, really. Uh, so I had to change my telephone number because it, it became a bit too much, to be honest. Uh, then eventually a guy as well um, uh, called me and he told me that he's coming out of the harbor and he's coming to my place for one week so that I can fix his car. And I was like, really? He auto invite himself <laughs> at my house. Really? Uh, no, no, I don't think so. No. Uh, so that's why I've removed all my details. Uh, uh, absolutely, I will not give it to anybody. I'm very, very sorry. Uh, no, because people are not uh, are not playing the game. No? You can't disturb people like that. That's uh, it's just not possible. Okay. But if you want to contact me, you can do so uh, on the messaging system on YouTube ask me the question you want and I will try my best to answer it. Huh? Uh, bear in mind that I receive a lot of message every day, uh, but I try to answer all of them uh, the best I can and um, try to be as precise as possible as well. Uh, because if you're not precise, for instance, you tell me, oh, I've got a problem with my engine. Can you help me? Yeah, but what problem you have? And then you answer me something again without being precise. And so the messages can be going back and forth. So it's best that if you send me a message that's precise and I tell you exactly uh, what to do and that's it. Okay, so it'll be best uh, that way. Now, uh, people as well think that uh, by duplicating messages, I will answer faster. No, no. <laughs> don't do that okay uh, i will explain to you why uh, for instance i get up in the morning i have my coffee tick, 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 i check the messages i tick tick i try to answer and i see a message i answer it and a bit later i see the same message and i think i've answered that before that's weird and then again i see the same message and again and i'm thinking well they're taking the you know so what i do I block that person and that person can't answer, can't write any messages on the channel. And that's a shame to result to that, but I mean, I've got enough to reply to without having to answering to duplicate and triplicate and quadruplate messages. You, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, so please, one message, okay? Uh, but now the message that you write, make sure it's well written. Uh, why I'm saying that? Because uh, if you write some words that are not permitted by YouTube, uh, it will automatically go into spam okay so i won't see the message as well uh, and i know it, that could happen but for instance you write a word you put a dot and normally the next word will be separated okay but sometimes they're all attached and it appear uh, or youtube see it that way like it's a link uh, for a website and automatically spam as well okay uh, so just be a bit careful how you write so like that i can see the message and i can answer you okay um, now people ask me things as well about electricity. Huh? Uh, they say, oh, I've got an electrical problem on this or on that, etc. Um, well, I will tell you right away. Uh, electrical messages, I can't, I can't help you. And nobody will be able to help you. Why? Because the electricity on the car goes everywhere. Okay? And an electrical problem can be just about anything. It can be a little mouse that went into your car that nibbled the cables. The two touch together, there's a shortcut. It can be a fuse, it can be an earth problem, it can be a relay, it can be, I don't know, it can be many, many things. So, um, 
what I suggest you to do, uh, for instance, if you've got a problem with your headlight, for instance, um, have a look at the headlight, how it is, trace the cable, see where it goes, um, try to find the fault, uh, try to make sure that all the cables are well connected, well grounded, um, and if you can't find a problem, try to find um, an auto electrician uh, them they are used to they do this every day and they will find a fault immediately okay um, but apart from that no I really won't be able to help you and, and to be honest nobody will because you have to actually test the car uh, and test the cables um, so that's why sorry um, now I've got also um, a message about uh, a guy that's called Anna. Uh, as you know, I make my videos in English, in French, and Spanish. And it was a French video about the starter motor. And um, so, basically, placed a comment uh, saying that he's is um, is very. Uh, it's a big deception uh, that video for him uh, because I don't say how to, uh, what tool to use to remove the starter motor. So I thought that. You know, maybe I made a mistake because normally I try to tell people what tool to use. If there's a part to be used, I will give you the part number as well. So I thought, okay, that's, that's odd, but anyway, I, I may have made a mistake and I've looked at the video. And looking at the video, I've seen that at 2 minutes, two minutes 39, yeah, I hold the starter motor, I hold the tool, I explain exactly how it's removed, and I even uh, say what tool it is. Uh, so now he told me that he couldn't remove it. A friend of him came, couldn't remove it either. He came with a lot of tools and blah blah blah. So uh, what a deception! Well, I'm sorry. I gave you everything you had to know. Now if you don't know how to remove it, it's not my problem. It's yours. <laughs> where, where, where do I have the problem here? You know, I mean that's, that's crazy. That's crazy. Um, so I don't. I don't know. Um, People as well think that uh, by making videos like that on YouTube, we earn thousands and thousands every month. Uh, uh, no, it's not the case. Uh, it's not the case at all. Um, to be honest, on that channel, uh, I earn approximately 100 euro a month. Um, and basically, the tax office takes 65%. Okay, so uh, no, I don't earn a lot of money. Um, so anyway, that guy, for instance, uh, that never ever contributed to the channel, uh, has got the audacity uh, to complain when the answer is in his face. I thought that was a bit much, really. Uh, um, because bear in mind that to make videos for you guys, uh, uh, I need to buy a camera, I need to buy a microphone, uh, right now there's quite a bit of wind but I'm pretty sure the sound is more or less okay, uh, um, I need to buy parts, it's my time, uh, I could be doing other things but uh, I use my time uh, and sometimes there's a lot of heat uh, but I still do it, sometimes it's very cold, I still do it and then there's the time to edit the video etc etc um, and a person like this one for instance and uh, very ungrateful is on his sofa or in front of his computer and watch the video and ah, that's not good enough well I'm sorry man I'm sorry dude you know if you're not happy there's the dealership huh? you can visit and then you have a surprise with what you have to pay and that's it you know but anyway thank god thank god most of people that watch my videos are very happy and grateful and um, you know again thank you very much to all of you because uh, without you the channel wouldn't be here uh, so I'm very very grateful and thanks to you uh, guys that post a lot of comments very positive comments uh, telling me that my videos are useful to you guys and uh, yeah that's great so now don't forget uh, uh, some of you guys ask me uh, give me a request if I could make that video or that video so I've got a list of uh, things to, to shoot uh, as I said, uh, there's some video that I can make right away and there's some that, that I have to wait. Huh? Uh, but anyway, I, I try bit by bit to make them, okay? So stay tuned for the next one to come. And until then, take care of yourself. Ciao.